All right, so here I am back at the Napoleon yard. It's been quite a while since I've been here. My buddy up here said that he saw a swarm low in this tree here um, out of these hives. Um, I got a queen excluders on the first two above the two deeps, and I don't have a queen excluder on the last one there in the back. And uh, that's the one that we think didn't swarm. So just something to keep in mind. Um, you put those queen excluders on, if the queen runs out of space to lay eggs and pollen and honey, they can get honey bound, brood bound, whatever, and then it'll provoke uh, a swarm. So uh, on the ones that don't have the honey or the, the queen excluders on it, um, it allows the queen to expand the brood chamber and go up into that third deep and lay eggs. And so often on the hives that I don't have queen excluders on, I expect always there to be brood in there. And if I ever find brood higher up, you know, this is without a, a, a queen excluder. Um, if I find brood higher up in the, uh, you know, the, the second or the third mediums, I'll move it out of there during a uh, inspection and move the brood frames back down to this medium, keeping only honey frames up in the top two. And eventually uh, they'll just bounce off that and go back down. So it's kind of inconvenient to have brood in a third uh, medium, but uh, that's somehow that's uh, sometimes how it is. And again, if it helps keep the bees in the box by allowing the queen and the uh, brood bees to expand the brood chamber more freely, you know they might not leave so fast. So I getting into here. One thing that I did notice also is um, in this swarming, there ended up being a swarm down here under the hive. How many of you seen that? To where they've already got plenty of comb down here. I mean, basically, this is another colony, an independent colony with a queen in there, right underneath the other colony. So, basically, I'm going to get into here and do the inspections here, break it down to the bottom board, and I'm going to take those uh, combs, put them in frames, and mount them into this nuke and take a colony home. Um, so, kind of blows when we're talking about. The honey harvest you know it's already looks like the locusts are hit around here where I'm at um, around this apiary so I know there's autumn olive fl flowing and a number of other plants that are bringing in nectar but I'm not expecting as much as I hope for so when I get in I won't be too disappointed maybe it'll be better but I'm gonna go through these three hives um, and I'll update you here shortly so we've tear, torn this down to the bottom box and you can see down here there's a colony underneath the bottom board there so we're just gonna before i even go through this hive to pop out these plastic cells this is a common scenario so basically this hive probably swarmed and they found the primary swarm right over here this is probably a secondary swarm oftentimes the hive will just swarm itself to death there's not as much action going on in this hive as I'd like to see so I'm probably right in that we lost a couple swarms but they have built comb down here at this point and I'm betting there's a full colony with a queen you've got a gang of bees on the uh, bottom board here that basically are attracted to the colony below so I think what I'm gonna do here is shake this into the box just to get the bulk of them off stuff over here to catch them. I mean, I'm not even going to spend a lot of time looking for the queen because I know there's one down here at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I'd just assume kill this queen and newspaper introduce this colony back into my main hive and let them get used to each other. I still might do that, but in the meantime, there's probably eggs in here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead.
lay my frame down here. Confirm there's eggs. And there are eggs, so we'll just just kind of line them up in the frame, making sure that they're oriented the right way. We're just going to put rubber bands around this column. Thought I just glimpsed the queen. Pressing them together like that. This is more developed brood on that frame comb. So they've been down here a while. Okay, then we just get a couple rubber bands. So we've basically taken the eggs and the brood, wired them into here. We're just going to slide them in to the nuke. Again, I have, I thought I maybe saw the queen, but I'm not for sure at this point. I'm just going to try to consolidate them into this box and put this hive back together. Now we got something back here. smoke this area just to kind of get these bees smell off on here a little bit. Had a bee brush somewhere. And that's it. You know, I might try something new here today since these bees are familiar with this colony. Uh, I think that since these bees are, are near and familiar with that smell, I'm going to remove everything off the bottom, put the thing back together, and any bees that ended, were under there may end up in the entrance, and maybe they won't be such strangers to this colony. I'm going to find the queen in here and kill her. So I've just decided I don't need more bees. I just like... Probably, I'm going to experiment co combining these back into here by removing the queen. And, uh, well, that's about it.